girly girls, it's Kat and I am back to make another video. Hope everybody's doing good this evening. Um, I am wearing another, I had ordered, if anybody wants to see a haul of the Wild Fox things that I got because they had so many good things and I just absolutely love them. If anybody wants to see a haul of it, let me know. I am wearing it with a couple of different bras actually, but this is a, you need something underneath this one. I thought maybe wearing this kind of as a, as a bathing suit cover up because it is really flowy, but on the top of it, it says, happy like that and did you see that <laughs> was it good to see happy like that and i love it it is so comfy it is just i could do this i suppose happy because i'm happy so you know i just think maybe as a bathing suit when i get tan and have that over the bathing suit and have the bathing suit colors kind of come through makes you happy just having it so i got a bunch of really great wild fox things and to my juicy girls out there please there is a few things that won't work um i did get usually i have tried on in the store i would go to like Saks and try them on on nordstrom I'm not sure if nordstrom i have but i know Saks, so i know kind of like the styles and if the, and they kind of make certain styles so i know which style is, is how they fit and they kind of just have a certain templates and they just do different designs with these certain templates it seems like and so I know how the jumpers fit the jumpers basically fit I mean they fit me um you could those aren't the ones that will go like way up in size the ones like this are the ones that will just go way up in size and they have so many beautiful flowing ones the t-shirts have been hit or miss because I did get a t-shirt this time and it's just unless I want to go around with like tight t-shirt on it's not gonna work but I am gonna give it away maybe to my niece or to a friend because it's just too cute for words so a couple things I wanted to show you I have on this lipstick right now which is too light but I still like love it um it is number seven in the YSL I thought I brought it down here but I didn't and I believe it is it's number seven is that lingerie pink I'm not quite sure but I'll take that off and I We'll put on my newest lipstick. Oh, and I love the formulation of these. These are the Givenchy, and this is the Le Rouge Limited Edition. Um, and this one is in the color Fuchsia, Fuchsia Irresistible, I believe. But there is the pretty packaging. And these are the ones, they come out with different packagings of these, of that same look. That's that one where you hold down the little squares right there and then lift the lipstick out. It's just a heavy duty lipstick and they're just beautiful and this is the one that they have out for spring and the color is just beautiful look at that color just a, and it's to me it's not fuchsia to me fuchsia is more blue more in your face to me this is almost like a fuchsia rose but it's a little bit dusty it's it's more than just a rose but i'll put it on so you can see but very, very i love the formulation oh of these But they just, they just look, oh, they are perfect lipstick. You know, sometimes MAC, even if it's not the, the matte ones, can be too dry. I love a MAC because they last. They're like the workhorse. They last. These have almost like a gel. I don't want to say a bounce, but almost a bounce. And that's that same kind of bounce that I love in the, um, the NYX, the matte cream color ones. Not quite like that, but... Just, I don't know if it's a silicone in there, but they just make your lips, if you have any dry areas or moisturizing. But the YSL, I love because I love the scent. I didn't like the scent before. But to me, the YSLs just are so slip. I mean, you it's a luxury item and it's my favorite of all packaging and I love them and I still will use them. I probably won't buy any more ever because it's just a slip. I don't reach for them because I know I'm gonna have to reapply it like in like a half an hour. I mean, with the amount that I talk. So anyways, love that. That is just so pretty. And I got this from Barney's. So, and I believe it's still available. A couple of things. This is what I wanted to show you from my last video. I talked about, this is a little problem of moving some things. It was wrapped up really good too. I've had her since my mother gave her to me which when she was little and her little pretty arm. But I will have to super glue it back on. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, but anyways, she had a little doll, so I love that one. I'm not sure, Cynthia? Um, but 
just beautiful. My mom, because I told you before, she worked in all these really high-end jewelry stores. It was really cool growing up because gifts for from for us was um, Baccarat things, or you know, I got all of my um, beautiful goblets from my 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 mom, my Waterford goblets, um, Lalique, um, Halcyon days, uh, uh, Yadro. Not Yadro, she was really big in from the back in the day, but before she passed away, she did. I did sell for her a lot of her pieces. She had big Yadro pieces. Um, on eBay, what are the other boxes that I collect? What are the boxes? Limoges, Limoges boxes, because they're small, I had the cutest ones. But that was her gifts to us, is we got these really great, you know, high-end gifts like that, that, you know, you wouldn't buy for yourself. But it was, so, that was neat. And I wanted to show you something else that's even better than anything like that. A couple of gifts that I got. Um, one I got to my P.O. box, and there is no name as to who it came from, and I, I don't even know how it got here because I had the wrong P.O. box number on my, it's the one that they gave me, but it was the wrong box number. But obviously they found it and put it in the right one because when I went down there to check it before we left, they had said, oh, you got a package here and it was this, this was a little bit ago. And I don't know who it's from. So this is from you, I just really appreciate it. It's just gorgeous. And it says here, and she realized all she ever wished for was right there in front of her. And isn't that beautiful? It's a little block thing. And there's a name on the back of it. I won't show it just in case this is the person, but I think this may be just the person that she bought it from, the photographer of that. But it's a little, you can actually hang it with a little um, nail and hang it on the wall like that. But I'm probably just gonna display it on, on a shelf, but that's just it. I mean, just beautiful. And she realized all she ever wished for was right here in front of her. And that's true with the beach for me so that's gorgeous and then this one just made me cry this made me cry I have a friend um, and I believe it's okay if I say her name um, her name is Corey and I have been friends with her for quite some time we met um, via it's, it's a long story of how we met interesting story of how we met too and then we have uh, in common friends and Facebook friends for like a long time and she watches my videos now and she just said that she wanted to send me a little bit something a while back and I got this and this is it's been hanging on my door on the handle but I'm gonna put a hook and hang it outside it says when we count our blessings we count our days at the beach and how true is that and it's a wood sign with just this really rustic rope and the, the wood looks like it's weathered like that and it's, it's perfect, it's in my color blue, and it's perfect, it's, it's perfect. Like I, I would have picked this up for myself because it's a little touch of what to say without having some huge sign. You know, a lot of people have beach, everybody here has beach and it's pointing the arrow like right there to it and stuff, which is cute. But this, this to me is like, it's cause it's true. Cause the beach to me, it's so deep. It's such a, I feel such a connection to it. I stand in front of it and you know, it depends on how the day is going either you cry or you smile or you're in awe you always think of God you always think of how small your problems seem in the grand scheme of things same way when I go to the Grand Canyon the grand if you haven't been to the Grand Canyon I one thing we wanted to do was when we got my father yeah down to Arizona as we, we we wanted to get him to the Grand Canyon, but I can't talk about that because I'll start crying. Um, but he would have loved it. Um, it. It just, the quiet, how quiet the Grand Canyon is, it's so quiet. And then when you know about how many things that are alive, how many different species of animals and different things that only exist in the Grand Canyon, squirrels that only exist in the Grand Canyon, species of, of hummingbirds that only exist in the Grand Canyon. It's its own, own little ecosystem itself and just the history and the age and the magnitude. And it's like just this ominous feeling. And it's, it's, I know I my you know, I am a very deep thinker and I get into that whole kind of stuff, but it really does. It really does. So being here right, right literally steps from the the Gulf of Mexico and I can wake up to that every day and walk on it and it's been raining here a lot so I haven't been able to enjoy it like that but I know that I will it just I don't know it's it's so food for the soul it really is 
you know, if you're, if you can get away to nature, no matter, cause I was a girl growing up and this is turning into a different video. So excuse me if I'm boring you, but I wanted to share this with you cause I really do love all you. Um, growing up in Minnesota, we had with land of 10,000 lakes. They say it's actually close to like 15,000 lakes, but we spend a lot of time fishing, um, going to the lakes, just going to the lakes as, you know, teenagers and preteens to go to the beach. And I can't believe now that we would swim underneath the, um, the docks with all those little fishes and ah, freaks me out now, but just the water, you know, just that kind of thing. But if no matter where you are, get to some nature, get to some nature, gosh, at least once a week, you know, some nature without all the buildings. And um, that's why it's so awesome that uh, New York, this prime real estate property, Manhattan, this tiny little island saved um, this area for it to be Grant um, Central Park, to be Central Park. And going into Central Park, you'll see it too, because you really are escaped from all of this, the big monster that is New York City, which is, it is just an amazing thing. And people have talked over the years about kind of like, so they should sell off part of the land because it's so prime real estate there, but I am so glad that they don't and they take care of it. And um, it's just awesome. And so no matter where you are, find the nature and get to it. And in the trees, in the mountains, I, when I watch people's videos, like I watch Tracy B's videos and her vlogs, and she sees the beautiful majestic mountains there in Utah, Utah, so gorgeous with all of those, the mountains and gosh, Leanne live with hers and she's in San Francisco and you can see the beautiful, oh, San Francisco was just amazing in itself. That, that that city would really, if I lived there, that would make me be like 110 pounds, I swear. Because walking those hills, it's just crazy. But, the, uh, the architecture that's there, but seeing the ocean, seeing just everything there is just gorgeous. You know, so I know it's like, but I remember Lisa Lisa D1, I think it was last summer, I believe, she had that t-shirt that she had got and I don't remember what exactly what it said but it was something basically which is like my tagline that says you know live in the moment this moment is your life like live right now and there are certain people when you have things going on all burners you have your parents still there you, you're healthy your kids are there you have everything even if you don't you know maybe a, a, one parent has passed away or your grandparents have passed away if you've got still this thing this this everything's going on all burners you don't know what it's like until that's gone I'm just telling you you have it all you seriously have it all and you just don't realize until it's too late so anyways I went on a little little spiel there so excuse me about that I really wanted to show that I wanted to show too that I brought down my baskets from Tracy B and I got these in a uh, pop sugar box I believe but it is the it's an herb it's gardener bag and it's basil and I'm going to grow these in there. And I'm going to grow a little basil and use this. And I'm going to remember Tracy B for her beautiful, just things like this just mean so much to me, honestly, because sometimes it seems like in life you give, you give, you give. And I got to that point for a while where I never really got bitter. I didn't. I always seem to see things uh, happy on a positive note, but it wears on you when you just give and give and give and you don't get it back in return. And I don't really mean gifts that's not what I'm trying to say but just recognition or a card something that you take the time to do like maybe a handwritten card or something not just like a Facebook message which is nice I'm not saying it's not nice because it is but something like that and so to get that back from some people that I have met is just it's so it warms you it just it feeds your soul it's good so if you're ever thinking about sending something to somebody a little something if you're on a budget very limited a card with a stamp and that you write in it or, or have your kids draw a little pretty picture and you send it to somebody it just feels so good to do that I've always believed in that and I've always felt that way and my mother was one that really taught me to do that and I now I know really what it's like to get it back because since my mom has passed away she's a real giver we did back and forth I really haven't had a lot of that so having this like this now has just been very very nice so with that I'm gonna come back with another video in a couple of minutes but I will talk to you soon and keep living your most glamorous life bye bye